Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about coconut fragrances in my collection. So, I used to have so many coconut perfumes, and over the past like year and a half, I have really done a good job of decluttering and really like curating the coconut fragrances that I've kept because that I've I've found that there are just certain types of coconuts that I like and certain types that I don't like. Um, there are certain coconuts that smell really good on me and then certain ones that do not. Now I do have quite a few coconut oils, which I'm not going to be including in this video. I've got quite a few from Kumba Made and um, I've got some from Sweet Essentials. Um, but if you guys want a coconut oil video, let me know and I can do that separately. I am going to include a couple of them here because they are some of my favorites and they, they're coconuts that I love and I wear them a lot. But for the most part, I'm just going to stick to the perfumes that I have kept. Um, as always, these are probably not all of the coconut fragrances that I have, but these are definitely uh, my favorite ones and these are the ones that have stood the test of time that have made it through countless <laughs> declutters. So anyways, I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to start with one of my most favorite coconut scents of all time. In fact, this might be my favorite coconut um, because this is pretty, this is a very, this is very much a coconut scent. It doesn't have a lot, it doesn't have much else going on in it. Um, this is a fragrance from The Sage Lifestyle and this is called Onyx and this is hands down probably my most favorite coconut fragrance I have ever smelled. This is, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. It's coconut. This has also got, I believe it's got oak moss in it. It's got a little bit of tobacco in it. It's a really dark, warm, sultry coconut. It's absolutely stunning in the heat. I, I have um, the little spray and then I will layer these and layered I can get a good 12, 14 hours out of this. This is a fragrance that I only have to put on once and I am good for forever, like for the rest of that day. This is a fragrance that if we travel in the warm weather, like if it's summer or spring, usually summer, um, this is the fragrance that I take because it's very packable and because it packs a punch. Um, I know I'm only gonna have to apply perfume once and I will be good for the entire day. Um, I love this scent. One of my favorite coconuts of all time. This is one that if you have not gotten your nose on this and you love a warm, um, grown smelling coconut that doesn't smell like a beachy coconut, but still smells very warm and sultry and like hot summer nights, this is, this is incredible. I cannot recommend it enough. So that is the first one that is from the Sage Lifestyle and that is, uh, that is called Onyx. Okay. This next one, this is also one of my most favorite coconut scents of all time. This is a fragrance from Laura Mercier and this is called Almond Coconut. And this one is beautiful because this is like a clean, very, very slightly powdery, not very sweet coconut. It's like if you can imagine smelling coconut cream that hasn't been sweetened. You're just getting that natural, like milky, creamy coconut. And then a little bit of a not very powdery almond, just kind of like a, a little bit of like a kind of almost a raw almond scent. That's what you get here. It's a little bit sweet, but not very sweet at all. I think this year I'm going to pick up the lotion that goes with this because I am obsessed with the way that this smells. The perfume doesn't last very long. I do have a sweet essential dupe oil of this that smells very, very similar to it. But again, it doesn't last a super long time. Um, layered, I can get, I don't know, a few hours usually, but not much more. So I think I'm going to pick up the body lotion this year to see if that will help um, with the longevity of this, but I don't even mind because I will just keep reapplying it. This is one of my favorite coconuts of all time. It's so good. It smells very um, classy, very expensive. It doesn't, again, it's not like a beachy, it's not like a beachy coconut. It's not overly sweet. It smells like a, like a coconut you would smell in a spa or something. It's so good. So anyways, that is Laura Mercier Almond Coconut. Okay, this next one, this came from uh, Sweet Velvet, which is why I keep it in the box with her little note on the back. Um, this is a fragrance from Comptoir Sud Pacifique, 
which I love this house. I've got, I think, four bottles from this house. And this is Vanille Cocoa. And this is a sweet, milky coconut. Again, it doesn't smell like suntan lotion or anything like that. It just smells like a sweet, milky coconut. Like if you could imagine coconut milk that's been sweetened up and maybe blended into something delicious. That's what this smells like. Um, this is another one. This doesn't last the longest, but this is a huge bottle, so I can just continually reapply it. Um, layered over a vanilla lotion or a coconut lotion, this is just gonna smell incredible. Um, I can't believe I decluttered every bit of my lotion except for a couple of the vanillas that I've got. So I pretty much only have vanilla lotions right now to layer anything over. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to pick up, I think I'm gonna pick up the coconut lotion that goes with this and then I can layer other things over it. But this is stunning. I love Comptoir Sud Pacifique fragrances. Some of them don't last a super long time, but they smell very, very natural. They don't smell synthetic um, and they're just really like good quality, really gorgeous smelling fragrances. And this one is no different. Um, I absolutely love this scent and it's a beautiful coconut. So that is Comptoir Sud Pacifique Vanille Cocoa. Okay, this next one, I need to wear this one this year because I don't know how much longer I've got with this. This is a fragrance from Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, this is SJP NYC Crush and I don't know how long this is gonna stay good for. It still smells perfectly fine, but I've still got quite a lot in here and I kind of ration this one because it's discontinued, it's hard to find. Oh, it still smells beautiful. Yeah, this is like a slightly sweet, really watery coconut. If you could imagine smelling like a slightly sweetened coconut water, that's what this smells like. Very light, very refreshing, very watery, a little bit sweet, kind of like a, green kind of coconut smell. It's beautiful. I love it. It lasts really well on the skin too. I haven't worn this one in a couple years though, so I need to give this one some love this year. Um, and yeah, if I feel like it's going off or anything, I need to go ahead and use it up because I don't want to waste this one. It's too, um, like it's too special to let it go off. Um, but anyways, really, really beautiful, watery, sweet, light, airy, delicate coconut. Um, and that one is SJP NYC Crush. Okay, this next one, this is a Dossier fragrance, but this is a Dossier dupe of, I believe, Replica Beach Walk, and this one is called Aquatic Coconut. Um, this is a beachy coconut fragrance. This is something similar to um, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I much prefer Soleil Blanc over this though because Soleil Blanc has a beautiful creaminess to it. Um, the original Soleil Blanc has, I believe, a pistachio note in it, so it's got this really gorgeous, like creamy kind of pistachio um, aspect to an otherwise kind of beachy coconut white floral fragrance, which I'm obsessed with Soleil Blanc. I have been for years. Um, this is somewhat similar though. This isn't creamy though, and it's a little bit more sharp smelling because this is more of like a, kind of like a beachy coconut. It's, it's got beachy white florals in it and the coconut's a little bit sharper in this and it's more of like a, I, almost kind of like a sunscreeny kind of beach scent. It's really beautiful, but the, the florals in this are a little bit more sharp and there's not a creaminess to it. It's really gorgeous. I love a scent like this too. Um, don't get me wrong, I do love a kind of beachy, sunscreeny uh, coconut, but I, I prefer more of like a creamy, natural coconut. But this is beautiful, and f the Dossier version of it lasts so long. Um, I haven't tested the origin the real beach walk for years at this point, so I don't even know how that one performs, but I can tell you that the Dossier one, which is I think like 29 bucks, um, performs super well. So anyways, that is Aquatic Coconut from Dossier or Replica Beach Walk. Okay, this next one, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this because this was in my the first part of my summer, my summer video, but I would not feel good if I did not include this scent. This is a scent from Dreamhouse and this is called Beige Au Fleur. And this, I think it's got coconut milk in it, if I remember correctly, or it's got coconut and milk. 
but this has a really beautiful creamy coconut aspect to it but it also has a really strong um, beachy white floral I can't remember if it's um, I, don't, I think it's honeysuckle that's in this it's honeysuckle or another really sweet nectary white floral this one is very beachy smelling it's really uh, sweet and strong and it's incredible and the coconut in it isn't it's not too coconutty uh, it's beautiful this is one of the safest fragrances in my opinion this is one of the safest from the house um, if you like beachy florals if you like beachy white florals if you like a little bit of coconut a little bit of like a creamy coconut I would say that this one is completely safe it's stunning uh, it lasts forever too you can get a good 10 12 hours out of this easily uh, it's, oh, it's stunning. So anyways, that is Beja Fleur from Dreamhouse. Okay, next, this is a little underrated gem. I never hear anybody talk about this fragrance, but this fragrance is stunning. And the longer that I've had it, the more I have fallen in love with it. This is a fragrance from Korloff, and this is called Korloff Gold. And this is a very light, mostly beachy floral. This is more like perfumey beachy floral than it is coconut, but it does have a really beautiful very light very delicate coconut note in the background and it's beautiful this one is the best if you layer it over a lotion especially if you layer it over a coconut lotion you're like like a walking beach fragrance if you layer this over coconut it's incredible but yeah this is more of like a beachy floral with just a, a tiny bit of coconut in the background it's really beautiful this one is um, quite perfumey so it's definitely more of it's definitely more of like a kind of sunscreeny beachy coconut rather than like a creamy coconut like a lot of the others but i do love this this might be my favorite kind of sunscreeny type coconut in my collection i really really love this it's very light very delicate um, worn on its own it doesn't perform super well but if you layer it over lotion it performs amazingly well. Um, I layered this over some NUX oil one time that I had a sample of, and this layered over the NUX oil was perfection. It was so good. I smelled so good that day. So anyways, that is Korloff Gold. Okay, next I've got a couple from Dubois. This first one I'm gonna talk about is one of the newest to my collection. Um, I have already worn this, but I'm kind of letting this one sit to macerate because when I wore this one it was a little bit more banana than anything but I love this this is a fragrance from Duan this is called creamy tropic elixir I cannot remember what this is a clone of it's a clone of some niche fragrance I'll have it on the screen for you this is so delicious this is like bananas and caramel and that's what I get more than coconut like this banana caramel combination and I'm just waiting to see what this one does. I don't know if the banana and caramel is just going to completely take over the whole fragrance or if some coconut is going to um, kind of peek through. Which you do get a little bit of a creamy coconut. It's not like a fresh beachy coconut. It's like an edible creamy coconut with the banana and the caramel. It's delicious. This smells incredible on me. And I've got a banana lotion that I'm going to layer this over. One of the only lotions that I kept was my banana one. Um, and I'm going to layer this over the banana lotion. And I just have a feeling that this is going to end up being more of a banana fragrance than anything. But it does have a really beautiful coconut note in it. And it's the kind of coconut that I love, which is a creamy, like yummy, more um, kind of gourmand coconut. This is delicious. This is probably the most gourmand one on this list. So anyways, that one is called Creamy Tropic Elixir. And then the other one that I have from Dua is called Caribbean Casino. I just talked about this one in my first summer video as well, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time. Plus, I just got, um, somebody just asked me to do a summer Dua video, so I'm going to do that, which you will see these. Um, but this is a hybrid fragrance. This is a clone of Creed Virgin Island Water and Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, at this point, this is the only version of this of that Baccarat Rouge 540 scent profile that 
I really can tolerate anymore. And it's because the coconut and the lime mixed with that Backyard Rouge 540 scent profile is gorgeous. It adds this beautiful freshness to it. And it's just stunning. This might be the most long lasting fragrance in my collection. Um, I've had times that I've worn this and I've taken a shower the next day and I could still smell it on myself when I got out of the shower. Um, this thing is beyond nuclear and it's really, really an incredible scent. Um, so anyways, that one is Caribbean Casino from Dua. Okay, next I have a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance. This is Dolce & Gabbana Garden. Um, this is one of those instances where the bottle absolutely does not match what is inside. Um, this is like a milky almond coconut fragrance. Milky almond coconut with a really sweet, delicate floral. But this is mostly milky almond and milky coconut and it is stunning. It's a wonderful coconut fragrance for the summertime. Um, again, this is more of like a milky, sweet, gourmand-leaning coconut rather than like a beachy coconut, which I'm sure you can see a theme. That's that's what I prefer in my coconuts rather than like a beachy, sunscreeny coconut. This is beautiful. It lasts such a long time. I, th I feel like this is the one that should have been in the yellow bottle and called Shine. Um, and then because I feel like garden should be like watery florals, watery greens, you know, garden is more like this one, which is the original. This is more like a coconut, like a creamy coconut bomb, but it's stunning. Really, really beautiful, very long lasting and a perfect, um, like creamy coconut summer scent. So anyways, that is Dolce & Gabbana garden. And then last but not least, I have a little Nest oil. Um, this is the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Oil. This has a very strong coconut note in it. Like a very strong coconut note in it. And to me, this is a coconut scent. Now I do have a, the actual coconut Nest oil as well. And I love that, but I find this one to be much better than the the, than the coconut one. I think it's like maybe Bali coconut or something like that. I can't remember the name of that one. But this is more coconut than it is vanilla. This is like a really beautiful, sweet, um, dense vanilla and a really beautiful, sweet, warm, creamy coconut. It's beautiful. It lasts such a long time too. I thought that I would blow through these little roller balls, but um, a little goes a long way with these and Oh my gosh, it's just lasted forever. I've got the full size in my Sephora on my Sephora wish list for the day that I do finally run out of this, but it's so strong and long lasting and it smells so expensive and rich and decadent and it's so beautiful. Um, again, this is more of like a kind of creamy, perfumey coconut rather than a beachy floral coconut. It's beautiful. You wouldn't know because it's called Madagascar vanilla. You wouldn't know that it's more of like a coconut scent, but it really is more of a coconut scent in my opinion than it is vanilla. It's beautiful. It's like a perfect summer coconut. So anyways, that is Nest Madagascar vanilla. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are most of my favorite coconut scents that I've got in my collection. I do hope that you've all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.